<clears throat> Hi everyone, it's Elle here to do your daily read. So it's going to be one card for all 12 signs, okay? So let's get into it. It's going in order. It shouldn't be that long. So um, you can timestamp. If someone wants to timestamp, that would be great, but it's not going to be super long. It's one card. All right. So let's get into it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Heavenly Father, for messages for all 12 zodiac signs. All right, Aries, starting with Aries. We didn't tell Aries today. Five of Wands, so there might be some competition, some opposing idea, opposing thought, maybe within yourself, uh, opposition within um, a structured organization, union, marriage. That's what's going on with you, Aries, today. And it's your energy. Maybe it's resonating from you or with you, okay? All right, Taurus. What do we have to tell Taurus for today's energy? Taurus. All right, temperance. Temper yourself. Uh, compromise. Salvage. Try to pull from the feminine and the masculine energies to marry the two so that you can have... A beneficial outcome uh, your your marriage your partnership it can be wealthy wealthy encompasses health um, of course health in every facet uh, mind body soul spirit so it's about what you do today uh, Taurus also uh, slow down on something um, moderation okay All right, Gemini Oh, came right out. Wow, it is your card. So you have a choice to make. Um, it may be a choice of a career in love or um, a choice of lovers. Something is, has come back together for you. Something has resurfaced. The universe is asking that you make a choice now in regards to what you're going to do. Possibly different now because it's come full circle. Okay, the, the lover's card. It, it used to be named the choice. So there is a choice that needs to be made uh, within your dynamic, within your life. It's a, it's a life-altering choice here. So good luck with that, Gemini. Cancer. What's going on for Cancer? Wow, the, the Hierophant. <clears throat> cancer. So this is about schooling. This is about rule and regiment. About getting yourself under some leadership, some guidance. Uh, possibly to move forward um, there may be opposition opposing idea uh, within you trying to have some structure uh, but it says move forward um, it says maintain here or or put in ordinance a daily routine and daily structure Try to bypass all the drama within a committed relationship or some organization or school or something of that nature. Leo. Okay. Wow, Leo. Your card just popped out. Six of Cups. So once again, um, <clears throat> this will be a, a point where the Leo is analyzing past situation, past relationship. Uh, maybe with someone you have children with or someone you want to have children with. There's an element of children being involved in this choice that the Leo has to make. Um, the Leo is also um, analyzing data, analyzing systematic behavior, analyzing themselves. Uh, what is best? What fits? What is healthy? What is useful? Who is useful? The Leo is looking over historical data. We t you know that the Six of Cups talk talks about uh, past the past so the Leo has to make a choice in regards to um, the past and past history history is going to help you make this choice to move forward possibly um, in some manner okay Virgo oh and it came right out and it's two cards Virgo okay so you have a dis uh, yeah you have a decision here you feel like you don't have all of the information you have a decision in regards to maybe some new foundational start. Maybe with some Libra. Do you keep, is this Libra or this, this person going to keep you on the 
keep hanging on or keep you hanging on. Excuse me, keep you hanging on. Um, is it ever going to mature? Is it ever going to go to the next level? Looks like someone is asking that question. Um, when? How? I don't see it. I can't see it. Virgo, today is about decisions. Some of you are going to, you may make a permanent decision to cut someone, someone uh, something out because you want something foundational. You also may be weighing up uh, options in regards to money, um, your daily routine and habits. You may be looking at your spending patterns. You may be looking at if more money is coming in, what you can then put money into. Libra, let's see. Libra, what's going on with my Libras today? Okay, Libra, your card doesn't want to come out. Libra doesn't want to, okay. Eight of Swords. All right, so some of you could be directly tied to a Gemini. If not, um, you're feeling stuck, trapped, bound. You have a lot of obligation. There's a lot of financial obligation that you may be bound to. Um, big money, financial obligations, loans, inheritance, investments, assets, really molding, mulling over uh, <clears throat> what it is you can do to try to get yourself out of this, not exactly seeing a way out of, I'm hearing financial freedom. It's not as if you don't have money or there's lack, but there's just, um, you're being stretched thin um, in regards to some merger. You also may be continuously thinking about someone or vice versa, someone's thinking about you. Uh, thinking about the level of intimacy you have with them or, or, or sexual matter. Uh, also, how you, you guys merge life together. Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio today? Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio, eight of wands. So you may be speaking with people, um, people in your life. You may be contemplating travel. There's a lot of electronic messages going back and forth, to and fro, friends, family, um, people that, that um, yeah, you have a level of intimacy that you have established with them. It doesn't mean sexual. It, mean, it could mean a really good friendship, something that you want to cultivate. You are doing the back and forth with them. You could even be talking with someone about the trouble and or the jealousy in a particular uh, relationship at work, at home, uh, in some merger. So that's that. Sagittarius. What's going on for my Sag? All right. The tower. It's all coming down. It's all breaking down. This is a good breaking down. Um, it wasn't built on a firm foundation anyhow. So something is getting found out. Someone is getting found out. Someone is speaking some truth that shifts the energy. Could be dealing with a Scorpio person. Um, it's either going to be rebuilt or it's going to just, um, you know, it's a breaking down and it's, and it's done and it's over. Uh, how you deal with this may have some historical reference okay because you've been here before if not with this same person you've been here before with someone else the breaking down of something uh, Capricorn what's going on for my Capricorn seven of cups all right wishful thinking fantasy fantasizing uh Fantasizing about relationship, marriage, and or contracts. Definitely relationships. Not choosing, but staying on the fence maybe a little too long. Resting in the fantasy. Being uh, a, a fanatic of um, not moving. Being emotionally confused. What to choose, what to do. Uh, 
you need to gain control of this situation by making a choice. The choices are fleeting. They won't always be there. Um, if you want something or someone, reach out. You may feel as if someone else has a lot of options also. So it puts you to the back burner or it puts you at a place of just fantasy and fantasizing. Still, you can still take control of this by making a decision. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, what do we have to say for the Aquarius today? Page of Swords. Okay, so either someone's spying on you, you spying on someone else, you're trying to gain information, uh, taking the initiative in regards to learning, being eager to learn, being eager to gain more knowledge of um just really delving into a particular situation, subject. Um, you could be in, embarking, engaging with or uh, about, you know, someone in regards to rumors and gossip. I hope that's not what you're doing, but it could be. Um, or someone is doing this about you, okay? But, all, but Aquarius, it says that do the research, dig deeper. Uh, the quest for knowledge, okay? And Pisces. What do you have to say for Pisces? What's going on with my Pisces? The magician, nice. You are making it happen. You have the idea. And now you want to bring the idea down from the spiritual and the heavenly realm into the physical. It says that you have everything to manifest the life the reality that you want is just about harnessing all of the energy. Play your cards right, too. You have the cards. Play them right. Line yourself up accordingly. Okay? You are the magician. You can make it happen. All right. So, let's do an overall message for <clears throat> all 12 zodiac signs. And then let's close this thing out. Right. Overall message. Overall message is the star. Okay, we've got Aquarius showing up loud and clear. Some of you, I hope that all of you are on the right path, a spiritual path, an awakening to where you should be. It, wow, then the sun card. Trying to shed light that this is where you should be. You keep questioning it. You keep going back and forth over it. Uh, you keep doing this, but there will be course correction if you keep running away. Wow, the world, not three majors. You don't control this. Whomever I'm speaking to, whomever this resonates with, collectively, wow, Prince of Wands, in regards to taking action, in, in regards to a move, Either a physical move, a proverbial move, um, have having some energy, effort, passion put behind. Um, once again, in and out, off and on. Some of you, you're on the right path, universe says, but then you you stray away from it and you 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 go away, and then you'll eventually return. That's that course correction because whatever you go to, it won't work out for you. Um. You're on the right path. Some new friendship, partnership is going to bring you a lot of happiness and contentment, fulfillment. You have come full circle. This is where you're supposed to be. For some of you, the message is if you keep running away, guess what? We'll keep bringing you back to the world full circle. This is for some, maybe a fixed sign. We're Aquarius here. Uh, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. You can't keep, I just heard that song, you can't keep running away. Yeah, that song, you can't keep, it looks like the universe will just keep course correcting you. They'll let you do and toil for a while and then they'll, and then it'll be a complete 180 again, back to, um, or a 360 more so back to that same the starting point because that's where you're supposed to be. All right, I hope that this message resonated with everyone. 
if not um blessings to you maybe next time thank you take care if you feel like you need your own personal reading uh, the coupon code 10 off 35 does work now got it working talk to the website administrators got it working it works it works it works if it doesn't work please email me directly i'll take the discount directly okay 10 off 35 that's 10 dollars off any reading 35 dollars or more take advantage of it especially if it resonates with you you need some spiritual guidance the guidance doesn't come from me but from the cards and um universal spirit okay thank you guys take care know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well bye